everyone welcome back it's lovely to be with you it's a chilly day and i've even got my light on so a very warm welcome to my channel and it's angela here as always now we've been starting um one or two little items in our new birds and bee journal so i hope that you're having fun following along with me of course if you don't have this kit you can use any kit you like um follow along and make the projects it, it doesn't mean that you have to use what i'm using all right so we're in our first signature um if you've missed how i put all these signature pages together or any of the projects so far always remember i have the link in the description box so the little up uh, arrowhead um just below the video if you're on a device like a mobile phone or, or a tablet um if you click on that little arrowhead you'll have a whole drop down menu of all the information that i'm sharing with you today the links for the playlist to catch up on past things and of course all the items that i'm using as far as i can help you whether that be my tools that i use my dyes that i use whatever it is or even the papers shops and that sort of thing all right so um we're in our first signature and uh we are going to put something onto this page as i shared with you the last time and i said to you that you needed to grab hold of a number six envelope a mailer so i have um trimmed mine to six inches you can see it's just short of the top so it's six inches that way that's about 15 centimeters if you work in centimeters and this way is 9.25 now it doesn't have to be exactly that you please use what you have people have different sizes all over but try and if you want to trim a bigger one or use a slightly smaller one just use what you have you're going to get the same effect the exact detail is not important for this particular project all right so um i have made a fold line at the from the right hand side measuring three and three quarter inches um that's about 9.5 centimeters so i've just folded it there what i was going for is and this isn't important <laughs> either i was just evening out the gap there but we're going to cover this and you can even out your gap using the paper that we cover it with and i'll show you that in a moment all right so that's what we're going to use we are going to place it onto this lace page here it's the same on both sides um we're going to have that like that and we're going to do various things with that all right so i'm going to put this one just to the side over here i'm going to take uh, this envelope and we can make a start so i'm very excited I've loved working with this kit already. Now you're going to need a couple of things. Um, I'm using some lace um, and I hope I remember to put that on. So I'm going to put on this little lace piece. Um, I'm not sure if I want to put it there or there, probably here. And um, I'm using some die cuts. So as I said to you before, I'm going with the um, the green the soft lemon and the, the lilacs. And those are sort of the die cuts that I've used. These I got from Hilda. So um, I'm not sure what die this is exactly, but they're sort of a medium size. Any die would do. Um, so go and have a look at the wildflower ones, those beautiful artsy stems. I've used a lot of those as well, um, but I was quite happy with this. I've got a little bee float floating around. I cut this out from my... Uh, mini journal kits um, but I will put together um, a little page or so for freebies in the coming days so I'll let you know probably by the end of the week all right um, so we're going to want some die cuts and um, that's for this page but I've got another page we're going to cover behind this and we're going to cover this side here all right so you want to get any of those I've got some sentiments I've got um, one or two butterfly pieces and paper of course all right so um i'm going to put this down over here and i'm not sure because i'm going to put a pocket thing on the back it might be better for me to actually put this on the bottom here that's my thinking but then again i'm not going to stress myself out about it i think i'm just going to put it on the side right so today i'm going to get this on in the right position <laughs> And just so that you know, uh, I have stuck down the flap from the mailer here 
um, and I have trimmed it off nice and neatly so that the opening is at the top here for this. All right, the other sides are still closed. If you're going to cut something down, you can always stick that with your glue on the sides that you don't want to have open. All right, so I am going to just use my, this is my Sugar Bell bottle. I uh, got that from Amazon and guys, anything like that. I get 99% of what I use from Amazon because I don't have a craft shop. And I found that Amazon is very reasonable for most things. So um, that is where I get stuff from. And you will see I have a um, uh, favorite tools list. So anything that I use, you'll find the details for that there now. I'm going to just put that on the glue stand, which was a gift because I get that question a lot. Um, and I don't think they sell them anymore, which is a shame. Right. I'm going to just stick this down, this beautiful uh, lace. I call it like a latte color, like a nice cappuccino or a latte color. It comes from um, Plum Boutique. So the link is below the video as I was mentioning earlier so I want to just trim off a little bit there let me grab my nice scissors all right and there we go if you've got saw hands um these are fabulous scissors the Fiskars and they're also on my um, Amazon list right I am going to stick this over that there and this comes from my birds and bees journal pages all right um what i've done now is i've taken um i've looked at where the window is on my envelope and for those of you that are new i cut this piece out to size meaning the size of this piece that i want to cover i hold it i then lift this up and look where the line is and i mark it and then I turn it around and do the same there. So I've worked out a size. If you want and you're not comfortable with doing that, you could always measure um, from the edge here and then measure, transfer that measurement over there, measure this side, how far down and do that like that. That would work as well. All right, um, and then what I like to do is once I've got that, I'm going to then cut this out. So I'm just gonna put this to the side quickly. And I use a craft knife. This is an old Stanley knife. The new ones, let me grab you. Um, the new ones look like this. And these are also, this is from a hardware store. It's not a craft knife. It's much cheaper than a craft knife and really um, fantastic. And I recommend using these. I bought this as a three pack. All right, so I'm going to just open the blade up and we're going to just take this piece out here now if you don't have a craft um, knife or a stanley knife you can just cross this out um, and cut around with your scissors so don't feel obliged to go and buy things that you don't have really guys um in this um day and age with things as they are with costs uh, please use what you have i've said it always and i encourage you to to make do with what you have and I made do with what I had because I had this Stanley knife when I was scrapbooking. Um, and I've never, I couldn't come right with a craft knife. I've tried it. Okay, now I'm going to keep that. And this is why I like these craft knives because you can use that for something else like a little pocket or a little tag or anything like that. All right, so keep that one and put it back in my ephemera box. All right, and then what we want to do is we want to just take our Distress Ink. This is just my vintage photo. And just give this a little bit of a Distress Ink. Now, guys, if you don't have an envelope, remember, you can always um, make one up yourself with two pieces of copier paper. And you can make a window by just using recycled uh, those very fine cellophane sleeves that you get a lot of items in so you know you can do this so you don't feel that uh, you can't do it because you don't have envelopes or anything like that all right so there we have this little piece now with any luck this is going to fit where it needs to fit and there we have it so we've got that sorted there like that 
Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. Now I've gone a little bit over here and I can see some white sticking out and this is what I do to remedy that. I just take my Distress ink and um, I mean it, it is right but I want to move it over a little bit um, like that and it's not going to stand out like a sore thumb. Alright, so let's stick that down. We'll just stick it straight onto this paper here like that and that way we know we're not going to get anything on the window right i must tell you i know we don't want to hear about the c word and the c word i refer to and i'm only going to say it once and then you know is christmas <laughs> well i i will say that i ate a mince pie today oh my gosh so now i know the christmas c word countdown has started so i don't want to upset any of you who don't want to hear that word because i don't really either but i am a sucker for christmas um cakes and mince pies and stalin slices gosh i'm terrible with stuff like that that's my nemesis that and chocolate you know all the good things um all those lovely foodie goody things i do enjoy i'm t i am terrible with that I'm going to start on this side and just get this stuck down. And I've used the the three in one in the in the sugar bell bottle because it just gives me that little bit longer time just to you know position this paper where my art glitter glue um, it's like a one off and then that's it you know so if you make <laughs> a bit of a mishap then that's not good at all. Right, I am looking for something here. Okay, um, I want to cover up that because it's not very attractive. Even though I am going to put something in there, I want to just cover that up a little bit. So I'm just taking some of this lovely polka dot paper, which is part of the polka dot and gingham paper kit that I have. And I do love using it. Now, the good thing about all, the, all my sort of kits are the background pages and, you know, and the kits themselves they match a lot of the time so you are able to interuse them with many different things i mean this kit would look lovely with the lilac lovelies kit you know or those sorts of ones they a lot of them work together so the 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 floral folly kit looks beautiful with a wildflower kit you know it's all that sort of thing so i've just taken this now and got some glue on it and before I fold this over or anything else, I just want to position this. Um, and I'm using the, the dots to try and get it straight. And then I'm just going to push that there. And that's just going to make that look so much nicer, in my opinion. Okay, so there we go. We've got that pocket done. And we're going to put a few bits and pieces, as I said, on there. So I've got my three little die cuts colors and I'm going to change glue now for a finer nib so I've got my art glitter glue this is looking really awful but it's an old bottle and I bought the refill which is much bigger than this and I keep using the smaller one there was a time this year when the glue wasn't really available and um, yeah so I had to take what I could get but of course it is cheaper to buy the bigger bottle if you are able to do so and along with my mince pie, <laughs> still on food, I'm trying to behave myself health wise. So, you know, I'm, I'm talking about food because I can't eat as much of it. I'm trying to be disciplined. But I have um, in, been enjoying a lovely cup of chai. And I don't know if you guys drink chai tea, but uh, chai lattes, oh, spicy with the colder days, is just amazing. Now, I'm trying to get this to blend in with. The foliage that is here so that looks lovely and i will be going a little bit over the window but that's you know i like that kind of a thing and then i, I want to keep them so we'll go a little bit like that okay and i do just love the effect that these have so yeah i've had a, a nice chai tea today latte and uh, the spices are amazing and that mince pie had lemon zest in it and spices as well so oh, 
it was absolutely delicious right so enough about food we'll get back to the crafting now <laughs> so that just looks like it's carried on here so i'm trying to make it look like it was there all the time you know it was meant to be there all the time now this one i'll bring a little bit further down i think a little bit over and i'm going to just cut off in line with the other ones right yeah so i'm looking forward to the wind the colder weather in in that i will be uh, really enjoying my crafting time so really excited about that all right so let's get this one down get that there and we'll get it just going over there all right, so I love decorating the pages with little bits and pieces. I had a bee. Where's the bee? Oh, he's, he's dwindling over there. So, yeah, the little bee. I think, where should I put you? Should I put you there? Should I put you up there? I think if I put you down there, he's going to be a bit lost. So I think I'm going to put him onto this little flower at the top here. Because it is birds and bees after all. And the sweetest little uh, birds. And we were talking about the birds last week in my garden. And I'm going to put it on this one. And I have got the most amazing um, families of the bird species called little, you know, they're called tits. And um, they are adorable. I've got a willow tit, marsh tit and the blue tits. And they all come and visit me in there. I also forgot to mention that I have two families of field mice. And they are that big. The bodies and then the little tails. And they also wait for their seeds. So as the bird feeders splash out the seeds. Because they're very messy feeders. And the seeds flying onto the ground. The little field mice dart out from just underneath. Like a little oval, half oval um half circle i should say shape and they come and um gather the little morsels that fall down and zap back in again it is so sweet to watch all right so i've got that page done there and that looks really lovely for the moment i'm going to turn this over and i'm going to decorate this side not that side all right so i went and took a piece of that dotted paper and I'm going to stick that down just like that. So I'm just going to use the glue that's at, on hand here. So we'll go over this one. And this is a lovely colour. All the background pages, are, I mean, they can are really useful patterns and really the kind of thing that I like to use. So if you one that is following along with these journals, um, you know, these things go with everything and I'll be using them like I do with the lace background paper time and time again. I want to just take this goodie again. There we go. Just in the curve, because I don't really like seeing the white sections, as you know. Now that is uh, the, the open side does need to stay on the top. Now um, what I've done here is I have taken, oh I didn't say to you, I did use this piece of paper with the little robin on, that was the one section and the other side of this I did actually um, use that for a taggy thing that I'm going to show you in a minute. All right now on the, on this side I've used the collage, well that page, but then I have cut out a little pocket here from the collage page so this is from the top section of that or the bottom section of that collage page I uh, love the little ladybird and I think the dragonfly was up here so I'm going to put this here I'm trying to keep this one as flat as possible so I will be putting in a little tag there and I want to just turn this over and I'm going to put some glue right on the edge here All right, so we've got our little pocket in there. And then again, I have got a couple of goodies. I've got two die cuts, so a nice soft lemon and a lilac one. I'm going to put those just over there. 
I cut out one of these little mushrooms, which came from my mini kit, actually. I was collecting various bits and this butterfly as well. Um, and then I've just got a little sentiment there as well. Where flowers bloom, so does hope. Absolutely. Lady Bird Johnson with a Lady Bird as well. Two, one word. Two. <laughs> right, so I'm going to start with these and I'm going to just stick these down ever so quickly. I thought I would um, put this little one just over here. So, you know, I'm not limited by the edge of things. I quite like integrating um, the two by using a, a label or something to go over both edges, both cor yeah, edges of the paper. So, yeah, there was just something stuck in there. That glue pen from Audrey Harris is a great... Um, it's great, very useful for that kind of thing. Right, so we will just stick that down there, like that saying. Right, and then I'm going to put the little um, toadstool or the mushroom. Um, not quite sure what the difference between toadstools and mushrooms are. I'm sure that I should know that, um, but it's been a long time since I studied biology at school. And I'm sure I did know, but I don't recall today <laughs> anymore. I thought mushrooms were smaller and toadstools were bigger. I don't know. Then we just got one of these little butterflies that I wanted to put somewhere. I was going to put it there, but it's now going to infringe on my little goodie. So I'm just putting it there. Right, so there we go. So that's that side done. So quick and easy. Then on this side, um, again, this is this is really not too bad. I'm using the gingham paper. So what's that? Um, for this bit here, I'm going to just stick that down quickly. Gosh, I'm chopping and changing from one glue to the other. This glue is. Um, great but sometimes like today it gets sediment in it and then it's very annoying to have to keep opening up the the nozzle so I've lost the plot there now and I'll deal with that I think I need to clean out the nozzle that's what it is you need to do that with hot water from time to time right so we've got that all done and I'm going to start at this corner here I think like that and there we go is that just a little bit over okay so we've got that there now remember this is going to go round the page so let's just make sure we've got that nice and firm and um i wanted to stick on a little pocket and, and i'll say it's going around the page so you could put it that way but i'm putting it this way because I want the bows to stick out um, rather than make it um, too thick. So I'm going to just use this here and I'll give you some measurements for this in a minute. All right, so that's a little pocket. Now this little pocket measures about just short of seven and a half centimeters by uh, 11 and a half and in inches that is four and a half inches by two and three quarter all right so that's there and I love that paper that's just one of the background pages sort of brings the yellows and the purples together and I got this lovely die cut from Hilda um and I thought I'd just put that at the top there. I thought this was perfect for a little one. And I've never seen this before. So, yeah, Hilda will have to, or has this as part of one of her kits. And I forgot to ask her which kit it is. She did bring me a few new ones. And I didn't, uh, along with my order, but I can't remember what this one's called now. But we'll find out. Okay, so that sticks on the top there. That's a nice one. 
and then um, got a little sentiment bloom where you're planted absolutely whatever your situation make the most of it that's my understanding of that one no matter what we all have choices don't we so i'm going to stick it over the leaves here there we go oops moved a bit and then remember i asked you in the first episode to go and stamp on some tea stained um fabric with bees and things so i did that and i've pulled the threads and cut them and i've stitched them onto a little background so it looks like a type of a fabric stamp um and then i've just stitched around there like that so that was really cute to do um if you want me to give you more information about that um i can do so but i think that's pretty self-explanatory right so i've made little fabric postage stamps here and really cute to decorate with so yeah little scraps of fabric so I'm going to stick that just on here and how sweet is that really cute okay so now what I want to do is I want to get this into our journal so we've got our little page here and as I said we're putting it onto um, this this one right here so i'm going to just take that out for a moment this is the joy of working with these things when you don't sew the signatures in it makes it easier right so we want to take that we're going to get that at around there and i want to put this quite low down because i'm going to have a tag so i'm going to get it pretty low down now this would be a good time to take your tag so here's my tag and as I said, it's the other side of that um, paper. So you can see there, that was the whole sheet of paper. I cut off a strip, which I've kept um, to make a pocket further down the line. I've backed that onto card and stitched around it and added Be Kind, Be Positive, Be You. Um, with these two lovely ribbons, which look beautiful in there. And that's going to slide into there, which I'm going to do. But while I would say that is, I want to make sure that this isn't going to stick out the top here. All right, so that looks all right where it is. So what I'm going to do now is I want to turn that around. Um, with this like this, I'm going to hold this down and I want to make this a tuck spot. All right, so um, you've also got a pocket here that you could put something in. Um, but I need to put some glue along there and along there. So it was along there and along there. <laughs> so I'm going to just do that. So I want to just get some glue along there. And that's going to hold this whole thing in place. All right. And we will now stick that down like that. Okay. Now, while we are waiting for that to do its thing, we will then push that over. Um, and that'll keep this in place, but now it'll be a flip out. Now we can open this up and slide in our card. And that'll go in over there. Right. I'm going to just move it over a little bit so that you can see the little sentiment itself um there you go so that looks really sweet like that and then on this side um we've got that over there just rubbing off a little bit of glue there um i want to just move this over and i've got a little goodie to go in there so for this one, I've used this piece of ephemera. This comes from my ephemera pack, ephemera and sentiments. I've put on one of the ribbons from Plum Boutique and I've put on one of the tabs, you can see like that, and backed it with my lace paper, that's all. It's just two pieces of paper, but it just gives it a nice finish and I've sewn around it. And then that one is going to go into that pocket there like that. And you can move these around to stick out if you want, you know. 
um, and then that's what I'm going to put on on that side and then when we turn this over we've got that on that side and then on this side uh, we have this little one here so that little bird is going to go into this bit here I'm not good with my left hand <laughs> things like this there we go um, and then those little ones will stick out and then I just took one of the postcards that I have um, decorated I added a little tab on there as well it's also back with card this one um, just to bring in the yellows and I'm going to stick that in the little tuck spot over there and I'm not putting too much in here you can make this lower uh, you could put the tab on the side you can put something in the pocket if you want but you don't want to fill up every single little thing because you know you want to have space to put other things in later on and often when I come to the end if there's anything over I've got other things that I can put in all right so there we go there's that this can now go back into our signature and here's the front and there you have it all right so that's what we've got today so perfect all right isn't that so sweet i hope that you guys have enjoyed that you could even put a, a paper flower on there if you wanted to you know these you could actually go ahead and um put something there's a bit with a bit of a yellow and and something you could actually put that in there i think i might do that actually it sort of hides the stems and sort of blends it all in and i've got quite a few of those here so i think um these ones look cute and if i alternate it like that and stick it down it's going to just finish that off so let's do that quickly okay so i have just sewn those two this is just very soft yellow on the end put on the purple one there and sewn a button on and i think if i put it there it sort of just looks like it's all part of that and i quite like that so we will do that over there and it sort of just fits in with all the flowers that you see at the bottom there and i think i quite like that all right, so there we have it. We've got our page over there. We've got our big tag at the back. Um, if I move that over, we've got this lovely flip out with our tag over here. Love that. Um, got that there. And then when you turn that over, you've got your little tuck spot here. And we've got our postcard. And I might find something bigger to put over there. But um, at the moment, I'm happy with that. And then we've got a little pocket over here with a bird as well. All right. So that was a lot of fun. Go and give that a go, guys. As I said, make sure you collect those envelopes. Ask the neighbors um, if you don't get a lot of envelopes. Um, because, you know, I always find reasons to use them. Because it's paper that you get in the mail and it's for free. So why not, you know? Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you have fun with that one. I'll see you on Friday for another little project. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure what it is quite yet, but I'll have a little think. <laughs> um, I do want to do that, but I'll probably do this on Sunday. I've got an idea for that. Um, so we will think about putting another little project in here on Friday. All right, everyone, thank you so much for spending time with me. It's always a great pleasure um, to have you join me and follow along. Thanks for the lovely messages and have a great week and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.